Hey, get back here. So I kind of want to do an after action report of the golden tickets because we're going to want to have some strats for Friday. Now, it was a kind of insane uh, Twitch. It was awesome. Like 4,500 or so more people uh, were in the Twitch. It was crazy. I loved it. There was so much conflicting information. People photoshopping golden tickets and being jerks and tweeting them at me. Uh, but like, here's a here's a visual of one of the golden tickets from the minor pack. Most of us, including myself, got three 1,000 coin quick sales. Uh, and I want to put the offer out there. If anybody needs help, like designing the gold ticket, obviously you're gonna pick the player. Then I'll just help you, like you know, mo make them most powerful. Uh, let me know, and I, I'm, I'm, I'd be glad to help. I just want to put that out there again. But so after action report, let's let's talk about this with the servers melting down with everything. Um, I got into mutt at uh, exactly on the time on the ser here, here's it for my stream at 22:05. All right, so 22:05 is exactly when I booted in. Uh, I'm, not, I'm gonna mute myself. So I booted in, and then we had server issues for quite some time. And then I finally was able to get in at uh, like 42 minutes. See, I I'm celebrating. Oh, wait, you can't see that. My, my dumbass face in the way. Why would I have myself on the same side that my after action report face needs to be? So, my dumbass face in 42 minutes. So, it took about 20 minutes to get on, and I tried it over and over. So, the servers, as expected, I laughed. You guys remember from that video when we first read this, when we saw this? We were like, there is no way these servers are staying. Luckily, they weren't down for too long. Now, this provided, obviously, a little bit of advantage to the people who were able to get into the servers, either on PlayStation or Xbox, because look at the 4250 at 111.43, I was able to see four out of five. Okay, let me pull this up. Four out of five, and the five out of five was a Photoshop of the four out of five. So that was at 11... 111 so that was about an hour afterwards four to five i had been in the solos for about what little under 30 minutes and four to five had been pulled so there's a lot of questions are these things based off time are they only released you know one every 10 minutes or something i don't think that's how ea does their packs they do it based off odds as we've seen that i don't know why they'd have something special for golden tickets as that takes work and if they're gonna do work I don't know, that's not the EA I know. So, I think it's going to be based off the odds, either 1 out of 10,000 or something, because there's a lot of people online. But, you want to get on right away. I think the strat for Friday... Wait, wait, wait. Let me do this first. Let me talk about this. Well, then we'll get into the strats. So, 4 out of 5 were pulled, uh, like, under 50 minutes, okay? And then the 5th one was pulled, if I go to my YouTube account, or sorry, my Twitter account, you can follow me there. The 5th one was pulled... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. There was a timestamp on this one. 6.53 for the 5 out of 5. I don't know if you can see that on uh, on your screen. Let me see if I can zoom on in. Four, that's blurry as hell. Blurry as hell. Anyways, 5th for PlayStation was at like 53. So it kind of like went back to back. Once everybody kind of got on, started spamming them out. Right there, 4 to 5, 5 out of 5, within a few minutes finishing out. So, it really depends. I think the strat for Friday, like, it really depends on how many people are on. The strat for Friday is definitely get on. I think you do your solo, you back out, pull your minor pack, and then you go back in. And you try the next solo. I don't think it's worth waiting to the end, because there's a good potential, if you do all three solos, that all the t golden t tickets can be gone. So that's the that's the like the poorest way of doing it in my opinion is to wait till the end. So I think go back to the screen, pull your minor pack, see if you got the golden ticket, see if you got you know the one thousand coin quick sell, and then go. We'll be doing it on stream of course Friday, so you can come check me out there again uh, Friday night pulling for the golden tickets. But that's kind of it. I mean like it was kind of a crazy night. Uh, we'll talk about bands in a second here too. But that's kind of the strat. So I would definitely not wait. Right? If you're gonna start late, you're gonna have a bad time. But overall, we totally expected these server issues. The games themselves were kind of just, you know, regular boring old solos, granted. You only needed one star uh, for the minor pack, which was the pack that we were digging for gold in. So, that I didn't mind, right? I think a lot of people were like, I saw some feedback. I talked about this in stream. People were like, we're going to have some Fox and Fox action. I hope that's okay. Um, people were like, I would have rather paid for this. I thought solos were a good way because we'll have golden tickets and packs. Like this is perfect. Obviously, 
paying for it, you would have had better odds for those people who do spend money on it. But, you know, I've put like thousands of dollars plus into golden tickets in the previous few years uh, since I've been doing YouTube here. And I never pulled one anyway. So this basically saved me a bunch of money to not pull a golden ticket anyways. But I don't know. I think it's it's kind of cool. I like that they did it this way this year versus how they've done it in the past. I don't like doing the same thing every year. So I prefer variety. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys enjoy the no money spent, the solo way of grinding for these tickets? Obviously, the server would have been fucked up if we paid for it or, the ti or, or if we grinded for the solos, right? Like they've clearly like... The servers didn't crash, like they actually like just died. They they stuttered for a long time. The solos fucked up for a long time. So it wasn't like as bad like where we lost an entire hour of our time when some of the some of the uh, blitz offers happened in the store. But that's kind of a wash, right? The servers are shitty with a store offer or a solo. So other than that, just design of the program, do you guys like it better in solos or packs? I was surprised with how many people disagreed with me when I said I prefer it in solos, so that way it's it's free. I was I was kind of like, wow, there's a lot of people that like really hated that. I was I was kind of surprised by by that that most people wanted to pay for this stuff. So you know uh, maybe in the future EA will do that because that seems like a, a good portion of the audience said that, and I was I I, I was taken aback that people were uh, shitting on my face for saying that was cool that it was solos. But regardless. Regardless, 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 Friday, be on it, server try and change, get into those solos right away, and then, you know, pull the pack, get out, pull the pack, get out, pull the pack on your last one. And that is the strat going forward. Oh, here, here's old me reading some stuff. But anyways, yeah, so there's Kralo with updating the uh, server issues during the time, you know, more shenanigans from EA. But they got hit hard, and uh, they should have been aware of it, they should have been prepared for it. So... Bans. A lot of a lot of YouTubers and other. Uh, let's do the face cam for now. Like, uh, let's just let's go up one right away. A lot of people got hit with coin distribution bans today. A lot of content creators. And uh, here here's here's the example. Of what it is? This was from Thrones. Throne got banned. Like here, it's so funny. He joked about getting banned the day before, and then uh, he gets banned the next day. He he made a joke about the boy who cried wolf. But anyways. With that, a lot of bans are being handed out for coin distribution. It, uh, EA is stricter than ever for this stuff. Obviously, if you think you got banned in mistake, go to their help squad and uh, request that your, your your account gets elevated to the security team. If you know you did coin distribution, it's probably just a waste of your time because they'll see that and they have all the stats for your account. So that's you know 14 day suspension I, I like that it's not permanent obviously 14 is kind of a long time especially this time of year i wish like the first one was like it went like three day then 14 and then maybe like uh, the rest of the year right then you could be back from that in 21 so they give you like three warnings but like 14 day then it's probably a perm after that two warnings i don't know i, I prefer a little bit more lenient but ea obviously sees that as people reach into the pocketbooks because people it's like it's like just like people doing like farm accounts and, and some people said they're just transferring money from one account to another on their own system and I'm like, I don't know, dude. I feel like that's overly harsh for somebody playing your game more, a a EA. So I really wish they'd lighten up a little bit on these uh, coin distribution bans. Um, especially like, because like, how nice is it to like give other people stuff? Like, right? Why is EA, like some people got banned for either doing giveaways or whatnot. Why is EA being able to be the only ones, the monopoly on just giveaways? So people go to their Twitch channel for like drops and giveaways and stuff like that. They don't allow other community members. They struck, they took streamers out of the community a few years ago, restricting the trade block. And now this, and basically you can't do giveaways outside of EA sanctioned giveaways. And uh, I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. They spent, it seems like they spend more time doing this stuff than fixing their servers. And you know what? A lot of us are praying for 2K to come and bring some, uh, competition to this whole game but uh, check out the 2k getting the nfl rights uh video from earlier today uh but anyways that's it for this video i'm excited for golden tickets round two i'm really hoping to pull one i i, I pray for it so we can make our uh, our own golden ticket but uh check out yeah i retweeted some of the people there's a lot of people telling them who to make and who not to make um weird champ like all the people all the bears fans asking for mitch trubisky there's been like a lot of this stuff in my mentions why why is everybody asking for Mitch? Bears fans, you don't even want, want Mitch on your team, right? You, you don't even want as your starting quarterback. Why would you want golden ticket Mitch Drizzy? So he finally plays as a competent quarterback in something? I don't know. Bears fans, you confuse me. Why wouldn't you make somebody like Mac or want that? But no, a lot of Trubo. Weird. 
weird. But that's it. Thanks for watching Call to Action. See you tomorrow.